Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Friday. <sighs> Let's see who is around this morning, this lovely, lovely morning. Okay. All right, pop in, leave me a comment if you're here. Hi guys, good morning, Angie. Angie, I need to know, I've been practicing. Angie, I need to know how, what size squares. Again, I'm sorry, it's been so long that I forget. Um, but I've been practicing painting. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, Anne. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Don. Nanette, good morning. Good morning, Nanette. Um, yes, Angie, before I forget, I would like to get that size from you. Um, you guys see, look at this. I, I did not take a shower this morning. <laughs> My mom picks up t-shirts that... <laughs> Um, she thinks I will like. So she got me a couple of Bob Ross t-shirts. <laughs> Good morning. It's Friday. I have a little update. I didn't shower. That's not my update for the morning, but I stayed up late last night. <laughs> Thank you, Bob Ross. <laughs> I'll show it again. No mistakes. Just happy accidents. These are the kind of t-shirts I don't care if I get paint on. They don't look that good on me, but I love Bob Ross. I always have loved Bob Ross, and my mom always picks up t-shirts when she sees stuff that reminds her of me. So um, I don't really, it's Friday. I stayed in bed a little bit longer. Good morning, Arkansas. Um... Uh, look, I'm still getting the sleep out of my eyes. No makeup. I put lipstick on, lip gloss. I don't sleep with that on. <laughs> um, oh, Lisa, I am news free for the next few days. I have to put myself on a news ban because I completely obsess and I get lots of anxiety over stuff and I don't like that. Robin, if it makes you feel better, today it's going to be incredibly um, warm where I'm at. We're, we're hitting a heat wave. Um, and I'm going to go to Michigan, I think. Uh, if Michigan lets me in, I'm going to plan a trip. I had to cancel two trips, not because I canceled them, because COVID canceled them. And um, so I need a little time away. I need a little vacay. When I go vacay, it's like nothing, not even my phone, my nothing. I try to turn off things. Um, but I really want to go see my uncle in Michigan and spend a week with him. He, um, that uh, we lost our aunt last year, and um, I just thought it'd be fun to get away with him. All we do is laugh, and it's just fun. So, Anyway, I um, thought I would pop on here and just chitty chat with you this morning. That's my uncle. Remember I told you guys the story about when he got an iPhone and I called him, my cousin and I called him and we told him to get chitty chat on his phone and he thought it was an app <laughs> and it's not. We, we, we met FaceTime. So now anytime I'm face to face with somebody, I always say, let's chitty chat. Okay. So... Oh, everybody's loving my shirt this morning. No mistakes, just happy accidents. You know that guy, Bob Ross. He's so fantastic. Good morning, everybody. So, uh, Julie Speaks just asked me about, weren't you going to be pa at Painting Palooza in Oklahoma? Guess you got the news. Um, I can say it now. So that's one of my trips that got moved. It didn't get post, it got postponed. How do I say that? So I was supposed to be teaching at an event called Painting Palooza in Oklahoma in October. And I think the news is out Thursday. Yes, um, I wasn't supposed to say anything. So I, I almost slipped like three times. So um, that got moved to May, my birthday week, of course, of 
2021. It was just too, um, there were too many high risk people that they didn't want to put, um, you know, just take the chance. So it's been moved to May, the first week of May, because it's my birthday, uh-oh, uh, 2021. So that trip, um, that trip got postponed and I can't even book that far out. And um, my New Orleans trip for two weeks from now got postponed. Somebody just asked about my hair. It, it might be the lighting or it might be the fact that probably not that dark. Okay. It's actually uncomfortable. So um, for you, for those of you who are curious about painting Palooza, you can still go. In fact, now you have plenty of time. I'm teaching two classes. Uh, yes, May 1st through like the 8th. And I'm not going until like, I don't know, Tuesday to Saturday. I don't have to fly in for the whole thing. So, uh, but I can't book that far out. So I had to put all of my air. Southwest is so great. They just let it sit in an account. So I have a trip booked to Michigan, or I'm going to book a trip to Michigan on that. Ah, okay. Uh, let's see if, oh, oh, Deborah says, if you come home for a visit, you'll be just a couple of hours away from her, uh, from Ohio, not the Ohio, Ohio. Let's just be clear. We don't call it the state of Ohio. Oh, Julie, that's awesome. I hope you sign up, please, for at least one of my classes. You may not be interested. <laughs> okay. So here's what I want to share this morning. I have an obsession. I always have obsessions. So. First off, last night you might have noticed, which somebody told me had nothing to do with working art with art. But last night from my garage, I did a remote, which next time I need to turn off my Wi-Fi, I realize that. I did a remote um uh Facebook Live, that's the word. I just was on my treadmill and I got to thinking, and um one thing that helps me with my creativity, believe it or not, is movement. And being outside, well, I've been getting back in the habit of working out um, in the evening, which is different because normally I work out in the day and then I have tons of energy and I carry on with my day. But I don't like waking up at Odark. I like to get right in here and work. This is where I want to be. So I move my workouts to the evening, which sometimes means even eating after I or working out after I've been eating, which is fine. Uh, but last night I worked out at like 8 or 8.30, maybe about 8, 8 o'clock I finished or 8.30. So I did the laundry. I came in here and painted until whatever, 11, 12, which is really late for me. And But I just, I had to get some things done and off my table because I am a finisher. I like to start something and finish it. I don't have a um, 100 unfinished projects, although I do have a wine barrel that's sitting there that's been there for months. Um, so... I, I'm going to sit back a little bit. So I did my laundry, painted, and I'm getting used to this new routine because it's keeping me up a little bit later. So this morning I lingered in bed, which felt really good. And I don't have to shower till later. I do have to go out later, but I thought, oh, I'll just be like this. And I'm actually going to paint. I'm going to record. I've got the stamina to record some videos. Um... So uh, I'll show you what I painted, and then I can get a yay or an A. Uh, so I finished this because it's been sitting on my desk. This is just one I wanted to just do quickly, and it's based on one piece out of my book. So um, I'm kind of loving it now. I was not loving it so much. And everything I'm giving, like little pieces of trim, but, oh, I have a hair in my mouth. Sorry. Um, I wasn't loving it at first, but now I'm absolutely in love. And I'm going to give this a go, and I'm going to sell a few of these. I don't even know if they're going to sell. But if they don't sell, I can take them to my local art and wine festival and call it a day. So I did that. I hope that's going to stay. Okay, I did that. Thank you. These are like one of a kind. I'm really not repeating them. The only one I'm going to repeat is the one I'm going to be teaching and turning into a workshop. So I'll probably repeat that like 10 times. Okay, lots of hearts. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. So again, I've just been, um, these are really just quick. 
Uh, and Angie, this has got me really confident about Angie, my friend Angie, uh, whom I love and adore, uh, is going to, we're going to combine our forces, our creative forces, and I'm going to paint quilt squares. She's going to make a quilt out of it. So I need the size because what I want to do now is start painting those and getting those, uh, done. And I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to obsess like with these, I'm just going to go for it. If they work, they work. If they don't, I'll repeat things in my journal. This is exactly something out of my art journal. So it makes me feel good that I use myself as inspiration. See, even I surprise myself. Okay. Totally in love with this. Okay. Now, the other thing I did last night, which I was just giving it a go, because I'm teaching on Sunday and I don't want to be in something. Uh, I'm painting a face mask. <laughs> what won't I paint on? Now, I painted one side, but I have to paint the other. So... I'm not going to buy white anymore. I realized if I wear white, I'm going to get my makeup all over it. But they're washable. So um, what won't she paint on? <laughs> you know what? Pretty soon I'm going to have hand-painted underwear. <laughs> Send me your bra, people. Send me your bra. <laughs> okay. I know. So I'm going to paint the other half today, and I'm down simple. And it took me five minutes. So, um, yes, get your hand-painted masks and underwear from me. <laughs> yeah, with masks, no makeup is required. It's so funny because the other day I caught myself going into the store putting on lipstick. That's like my makeup is lipstick. And I put it on and I was like, okay, that is so dumb. Birthday suits. Okay, wait. Oh, bathing suits. Birthday suit is the naked suit. <laughs> I promise you, I'm not drinking. Uh, I'm not drinking. Uh, so, I want to be, but I'm not yet. Uh, okay, not painted. <laughs> I would love, I welcome anybody to enter my studio so I can paint their birthday suit. <laughs> Okay, I'm not bathing suits. No, that's not a bad idea. I have to get bathing. I sky's the limit here. I I love I love to paint stuff. Anyway, so then I'm gonna leave you with this. I have a funny story. Okay, and then maybe he's gonna be watching. So I have a funny story. <laughs> See, no news. This is your news. I could tell you what the weather's like. We already talked about the weather in Michigan and. California is going to be hot, hot, and hotter than blazes, and Michigan's going to be humid. I mean, what's a big surprise? It's July. Of course, Michigan is going to be humid. <laughs> I bet you Florida's humid, too. Let's just get it out there now. <laughs> so, okay, you guys. I, I really, I didn't really wake up in this good mood. You know why I woke up in this mood? It's because I got on the scale, and I was teetering at my heaviest, heaviest, I was teetering on my heaviest, and I'm down six pounds from that number. So I've got six more to go. I didn't know I could put on so much weight, but I did. Uh, there's no denying. Okay, sorry. I, I got... Uh, okay. So, um, sorry. I am teaching a class this Sunday. If you're local, you're welcome to join me. Um, it's a smaller class. I had 28 in my last one, so this was like six or eight or something. Uh, which is fine. To me, that's better. I love to be a little bit more, um, I almost said romantic, um, personal. And uh, I, I don't have to scream because I have to wear a mask the whole time. Okay. Oh, I'm going to wear a painted mask. Okay. So here's my story for the morning. So I lingered in bed, which I typically do. I think I posted a photo of Instagram. My dog was... Um, yeah, thank you for the congratulations on the loss of my six pounds. So uh, it's it probably was water weight uh, or salt or whatever I'm getting out of my body. Plus, I need to go grocery shopping, so I have nothing to eat. I don't have had. Uh, I'm addicted to triscuits. Haven't had a triscuit in like four days. Have not had a triscuit in four days. And the rule in this house is if there are no triscuits, then I have to go grocery shopping. 
Okay, so this morning I was lingering in bed a little bit uh, from staying up so late because uh, after your workout, I started my laundry, painting, stayed up pretty late. Then I watched Tough as Nails, uh, which I'm in love with that show, and um, didn't go to bed till like midnight. And so I woke up this morning and I lingered a little bit and I watched... I got on Facebook a little bit. I'm not a big social, like I don't stay on social media because it's so addicting, which now I know because this morning I was on there. I'm absolutely obsessed with a, an, art, an, an artist. I'm, I'm so obsessed with this artist. I always have been. I've gone to his studio in Laguna um, and I would love to go to his Florida Keys and his Hawaiian studios. Um but it's become a joke because my friends are all like, I don't know, I have a crush on so-and-so and I have a crush on so-and-so, you know, like movie actors. I don't really have a crush on a movie actor. I don't, there's none that really float my boat. I mean, yeah, Bradley Cooper's cute, whatever. Um, but that's not attainable. That's not in my world. Like, I don't, I don't even have a desire to go to Hollywood. I've been there like three times. I don't think it's that great. Um, I do like the architecture and I do like to see the real estate, but I don't want to live there. Don't like the traffic. I get, in fact, when I start getting close uh, to LA, I break out in hives because I know that I'm going to be around a lot of people. I don't really like a lot of people, <laughs> but I have been to Laguna and if you've been to Laguna, it's a beach town and there is an artist. Um, oh, Lisa says I crush on acting ability. So this might be me too. I might be crushing on, I'm going to give you some hints. I'm going to see if anybody knows. Okay. First off, I learned a lot about him this morning because I think I now officially might be stalking him. Um, but I love his Facebook page. He has a studio in, um, Laguna, Hawaii, Florida. Working artist to this day, has painted over a hundred murals, has very beautiful blue eyes, also has a Mustang, a Mustang convertible, which is my dream car. Loves his mother, and I found this out this morning that I did not know, and I feel like possibly we're a good match. I'm just saying, he paints every day. Okay. Uh, he's a little bit out of my age range, but I would be willing to give that up because I don't think he looks 64. If 64 has a look, and if somebody here is 64, don't get mad at me, um, but 64, I'm 50, so I feel like, yes, you got it. There we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. His blue eyes are stunning. I have blue eyes. I'm from Michigan. Now, our ages are a little bit off. Never been married, no kids. Uh, so it's fine because he doesn't have to raise mine. Mine are fine. But I watched today. I've always been curious about... Um, I've been in... I've been in his bottom floor in Laguna, which was, I think, his founding... That's where he started. The bottom floor is his store, so I've been there, and then when we were there, they were like, yeah, Wyland lives right above, and I've been always obsessed with the up above. What? Lisa has met Wyland. He is so nice. Is Are his eyes as blue as they look in the pictures? I mean, I know sometimes my eyes look really blue, but he's look really blue. Oh, okay, so look at What's age? Okay, and it's really only 14 years older than me. So Andy paints every day. He has a Mustang convertible and loves his mother. I mean, really? I'm just saying. Andy's a sweetheart, Lisa says. See, that makes me feel better. Because sometimes you don't want to meet the person. This is so true. And I've met a couple of people. I live in California, so I've met a couple of people that I was like, oh my God, I absolutely adore them. And I kind of met them and I was like, oh, they're a little like abrupt. But I was like, oh, they are having a bad day, whatever. But it's, you know, sometimes you don't want to meet somebody and have it mess up. 
So anyway, that is my crush. I'm obsessing on his Facebook page. They give a they gave his manager of his Laguna studio gave a tour of his upstairs. Oh, he has tats. Doesn't bother me none. Pfft. Nope, I don't have any. I'm afraid of needles. I don't. I'm, I'm afraid of needles. That would be I, my only thing. I don't even like my blood drawn. I pass out when I've given blood. Uh, I'm a wuss. I'm a total wuss. I just. And the good news is, is I pretty much have high blood pressure, so they won't take blood from me. <laughs> okay, so Lisa, thanks for not ruining that for me, because if you would have said he's a real jerk, I would have been like, crud. But this morning I laid in bed and I watched about a half an hour of his videos, and it seems like he really posts on his Facebook page. Because I noticed that a lot of, oh, there's the most beautiful horse right across the street. Oh, okay, there's not just roaming. There's a person on it. It's a painted horse. Okay. Um, I I don't really get on social media, but his name popped up, and I was like, oh, click on that. Basically, his blue eyes popped up. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. Yes. He um, obviously is really awesome for the environment. He loves the ocean, but now he's uh, he's painting like elephants and safari life, which I love. And he's so talented. I don't know that I could be in a partnership with somebody who's that talented. Like, kind of, I'm. I don't think we would go together. I don't know. Maybe like peas and carrots, but. Thank you, Lisa, for not ruining that for me because he seems, he has the Wyland Foundation. He just seems like his art gives back, which is something that I'm super passionate about and I love that people do that. And he painted a wailing wall of that dolphin. Oh, he's done a hundred murals, which is so fascinating to me. And he donates those murals, like he donates the murals. So... Oh, gal, yes. I'm going to tag Wyland. Oh, gal, Cheryl, if that video gets back to him and I have no shower and look like this. <laughs> um, okay, maybe today would have been the day I should have put some makeup on and not just popped on Facebook. But he it looks like his social media is kind of done from um him. Which I love because sometimes you can tell on social media when somebody like their PR person takes over or it's not really them or somebody's following them around and it's just not them. I want to know it's them waking up in the bed with my dog in it. How do you find him? Look up Wyland. Wyland. That's it. His name is actually Robert Wyland. Um, the only thing, Lisa, could you tell me how tall he is? I feel like that makes a difference. And the no marriage, no kids thing doesn't bother me because I don't want to be married. So I'm okay with that. You can tell him that too. <laughs> Wyland. He, that's it. W-Y-L-A-N-D. And please this make, make this not the day the video goes. Um, his art is phenomenal. We're two different. Now, see, look at this. I feel like I'm cheating on Wyland. I should get a Wyland shirt because I feel like I'm cheating on him. I'm wearing a Bob Ross shirt. Anyway, so they gave a tour of his studio. So one thing about my house I've debated, debated is selling it at some point because it's a big house for a little old me. Um, but I love my studio. Uh, okay, Lisa says he's taller than me and I'm 5'7". Okay, we need to find out how tall he is. I didn't look that up. I looked up his age and where he was from and it said Madison Heights, Michigan. He's a Michigan boy. They have really good values. And he loves his mother. His mother's name is Darlene. And she is the, like, president of his association or his foundation. Oh, look him up on Pinterest. I feel like now if I look him up on Pinterest, he's going to think I'm stalking him. But I'm going to stalk him. I think he's on Instagram, too. So that's going to happen today, too. <laughs> Cheryl just said you're in stalker territory. Okay, I appreciate him for his art, but... You should see his Mustang convertible. Now, if you guys know me, my dream car is a Mustang convertible. So 5'10", okay, it's still taller than me. I like to shoot for six feet, but that's okay. <laughs> 
he might want to collaborate with me. So he collaborates with very, I'm joking totally. He collaborates with various artists and like, oh, one of the most beautiful pages. And I think our paintings he did was, I think it was his first collaboration. He painted um, below the sea and another artist painted above the sea. And it was just this contrasting, beautiful, oh, okay. I'm totally looking him up on Instagram. <laughs> okay, I you know what? He's got 64,000 followers. I'm sure my few will really add to his total. He's going to be, what's the influx of these people? <laughs> okay, this is why I don't go on social media. It's been years, maybe 2001 since I've seen him. Lisa, maybe he got taller. <laughs> Maybe he's anti-gravity. Okay. Anyway, that's my, um, I've decided that's my, like if somebody says to me, you know, what's your type? Wyland. That's going to be my type. I was going to go Wyland. And I find, uh, oh, and he plays a guitar. Just, yeah, just, I just need the height. I mean, 5'11 would be a little bit better, but it was just his birthday, July 9th. So technically, he was 63 just a couple of days ago. Okay, so he's really only 13 old, years older than me. I mean, I have a feeling if I said to my parents, hey, look, this is my fr new friend, Wyland. I mean, he signed a picture for you. Oh, it's getting better by the moment. Uh, no, you guys, I'm all good, but I just want to say that, um, it inspired me to wake up. So he has a working studio. This is, this was, excuse me. This was my point. Here's my point. He has a working studio and he has a watercolor station and acrylic station. And they showed his, I loved that all of his, I'm super neat, but I was super excited that his space is like, very neat. He leaves it clean, but it's got paint all over. So that made me really excited. I don't know why. But I woke up and I thought, get working. Age does not matter after 50. Okay, so I'm in the after 50 group. That's true. But if I would have met him when I was 13, he would have been 26. I need to get out of that mindset because I'm definitely not 13 anymore. Anyway, um, Proximity wise, it's totally doable. The commute is doable. And in a Ford Mustang, that commute would be really doable. So I might not go there now ever again because I feel like he would be like, ooh, what's this woman doing here? But I guess he does work and live in his studio above. And I just thought that's really cool. I did a ton of research this morning. So if you need to know anything about Wyland, the fact that he was from Michigan sold me. The blue eyes also had a huge effect. <laughs> okay, so I would say today's the day to find an artist you obsess over. I found mine. Okay, it's 8.41. I promised myself I would be painting by 8.30. And um, Lisa, that's so great that you have that prior connection. See? Life has a way of happening. Anyway, uh, oh, and he's got a big tub of paints, like just in a big tub. I don't know that this would pan out for me because obviously, oops, I mean, I would have to talk to him about that. Even my paints that are in containers, like, I mean, they're organized. So I, when, when I tell you his paints were like in a big giant It made me a little bit break out in hives, but it's okay because you can't have everything. I mean, <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Well, um, that's my obsession of the day. Uh, I pick different things, but I should not get, yesterday was birthday. Yes. He's 63 just to, yep. See, Annette, not that far off, 13 years. <laughs> if you haven't heard of him First off, his Wyland Foundation does amazing things, and um, I I love that. I love, and I love that he loves his mother, and he posts photos of her. 
Like that's my dream. My my kids post photos. They would never do that, but <laughs> so well Lisa, I will not be hitting on your hubby. <laughs> okay, so just know that the painting is happening. And I'll give you guys a heads up when I go and put the um, apron. Somebody asked me, I've been getting lots of emails, like, are you going to give us heads up? I really just was going to secretly load the aprons to see if one or two sold. And um, I'm probably going to mail one to Wyland. I mean, I'm sure he wants to wear one, don't you think? With a big heart in the middle. <laughs> okay. So... There's my obsession for the day, and I shared far more than I was prepared to, and I'm going to get painting, and I'm working today, and then I'm going to an outdoor winery to have a glass of wine uh, with a friend of mine, so I can kick off my weekend, and just so you know, all weekend, uh, not all weekend, because I teach on Sunday, but Saturday morning is videotaped today, so I can figure out this apron workshop that I'm releasing. It's almost done. And then Monday, Monday is, let me just double check, it's my favorite day of the month for my membership. Uh-oh. You could tell how long I've been in my calendar when I have to like flip the pages. Okay. The 13th is Wine with Wine. There we go. We have, I have a lot going on. I, I won't show you. It's really, um, and stay tuned. Mark your calendars for July 25th because there's another art party coming up. I definitely would want to buy a daisy apron and sunflower apron. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> okay. It's a great day to be alive, kids. All right, uh, I really had nothing to say, and I said nothing for 32 minutes. But if you uh, get a chance, go check out The Art of Wyland. I make nothing, do nothing over this. I just was secret crushing in bed uh, looking at a tour of his studio. If you can, I think it's the top thing posted on his Facebook page. Take a peek at his Laguna home. I kind of skipped over the tour of the inside of his um the shop, first off, I can't afford anything. I wonder if he'll give me a discount, you know. Uh, but I've seen it. I've been there. So I loved it. But when I knew they were touring the second floor, oh, my God, I think it's the third floor. It's not even the second floor. He has a pool and a jacuzzi on the third floor. A lap pool, a jacuzzi, and he has a tortoise as a pet. A tortoise. Just saying. A tortoise doesn't shed. This is perfect. <laughs> okay. I far, I know far too much. I'm off to Wyland Land. Yes, I'm just, I'm telling you, if you happen to go, just let me know and tell me how amazing he really is. And if you could see the connection. I mean, obviously, I will take off the Bob Ross shirt because I feel like he might be jealous of Bob and I, but... Um, uh, yes, today I'll show my shirt one more time. No mistakes, just happy accidents. Okay, I'm going to finish painting this bad boy so that I, look at that. Still has breathability and it doesn't go through. So, okay, enough of that. I'm done. I'm out. I just want to tell you to have an awesome day. Uh, I have to say that looking at Facebook this morning put me in a really good mood. You know what I, you know why that was? I turned off the news. Yes. Um, I turned off the news. I'm going to go a little news free this weekend and keep uh, a little bit lighter I, I feel better. I also am going to map everything out that I'm working on and open my calendar again. That's a really great idea. Okay. Um, have a really awesome day. Thank you so much. I'm really glad I got that Wyland stocking off my mind. I probably um, 
have the authorities. Uh, I'm on a watch list now, but I'm just saying have a really great day and an even more awesome weekend if I do not talk to you before next week. Thank you so much for these little studio happenings talk. I know they're not really anything, but they're a lot to me. And it means a lot that you guys just show up for just my random thoughts of the day. Have a great one. And um, if you're joining me in the workout situation, don't hesitate to drop me a message. I love to know that people are moving with me. Oh my God, Lisa said he really is a nice guy. See, oh, thank you, Lisa. This um, would have been crushing to me if somebody would have gotten on and said that he was a real ding dong. Yeah, then my whole morning would have gone the other way. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Angie, for dropping me that text because I need to get working and cutting. I, I just, Angie, whatever you do, tell me to cut it with some extra room because if I don't do it right, you're going to have to redo it. But I'm a perfectionist. So, okay, so that's what's happening. I hope you guys get creative this weekend. And please, please share what you're doing. I love to see your art. Okay, have a great weekend. I'll talk to you all later.